Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. The New Obedience, Article 6. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Our churches teach that faith is bound to bring forth good works. It is necessary to do good works commanded by God because of God's will. We should not rely on those works to merit justification before God. The forgiveness of sins and justification is received through faith. The voice of Christ testifies, So you also, when you have done all that you were commanded, say, We are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. The fathers teach the same thing. Ambrose says, It is ordained of God that he who believes in Christ is saved, freely receiving forgiveness of sins without works through faith alone. Faith produces good works. Don't have to worry about good works because where there's faith, there's good works. You don't have to stress about good works. Do I have enough good works? Am I doing enough? Because where there's faith, where there's receiving Jesus, there's good works. Good works flow from faith. And this is uh, necessary uh, to do good works because there's no other way that faith responds. Where there's faith, there's going to be good works. A good tree grows good fruit. Where there's not faith, there won't be good works. Because it is impossible to please God apart from faith alone. And notice the confessors are very clear on this. Lest we get lost in all of the uh, good works talk that the good works don't merit favor. The good works are fruit. They are not merit. Uh, the, they're not meritous, meritorious. It doesn't matter. The good works are fruit of faith. They don't, um, they don't earn salvation for us. So sanctification for Lutherans flows from justification. Sanctification is the living out of justification in your life. The other articles don't suddenly start stop meaning things. We are completely still depraved. Um, with our original sin, which remains after baptism, so we're completely a sinner, but having been justified by grace through faith for Christ's sake, we are, we can please God now with our works. Uh, everything done in faith is a good work. Well, how am I going to learn what good works to do? Well, that's what the Ten Commandments are for. Now you pick the Ten Commandments up and you read them and you see how to love God with your whole heart and how to love your neighbor as yourself. But do you stress about it? Do you worry about having good enough good works? Well, you can, but it's useless um, because your good works aren't going to save you. What's going to save you is Jesus. And from that, for that, that faith and trust that Jesus alone saves you flows all sorts of good works. And you don't have to, to um, climb the steps of, the, of, of St. Peter's Basilica and drag yourself on some sort of pilgrimage to do a good work. Your good works are done in your life where you love God and love your neighbor in the particular place and time where the Lord has put you. Um, so if you're a student, your good works are around you being a student. If you're a son or a daughter, your good works are around your parents of loving them and caring for them and honoring them and serving and obeying them. If your good works are or that of a of a school teacher, well then as you teach, you're doing the greatest work in the world. If you're a mother, as you as you mother. You're doing the greatest job in the world. As you're a dad, as you be dad, you're doing the, the greatest, greatest good works in the world. It's, it's, it's all the living up of you being saved. And it's okay to be, do good works. It's okay to rejoice in your good works, even though they don't save you. It's okay to do them. It's okay to, um, to think of things to do that are good. And this is a good season for thinking about good works. How do I love and care for and lift up those around me this Advent season? How do I get myself out of the way? And how do I get that thought, that nagging feeling that, that somehow doing good for God makes him love me more? How do I get that out of the way so I can be better for those around me? Because true faith produces good works. But such works don't save. Only Jesus saves. As it was said by Ambrose, 15th, 5th century bishop, it is ordained of God that he who believes in Christ is saved, freely receiving forgiveness of sins without works, but through faith alone. And since we're on Article 6 now, it's good to remind you that this faith 
that, fa- that Jesus alone saves you, that is by grace alone, received by faith alone, delivered to you in the external word of the gospel, isn't something we've made up as Lutherans. It's been taught always and everywhere. And those who, are, who, who we have to confess against, they're the ones that have made up something and created a new religion that departed from Christianity. That's what the Lutherans are telling Emperor Charles V in the Augsburg Confession. Our faith is the faith that has been handed down always and everywhere. And that is that Jesus alone saves us. And he does that by grace alone. His righteousness comes to us by faith alone. And it's delivered to us in the external word of the gospel. And this this faith produces good works that we, we just can't help but doing. It's necessary to do good works. Those in the faith can't help but doing good works. Whatever place and and time they've been, been, been placed by God, they do works in their vocation for the sake of others. Not to merit favor with God, but because they are saved by grace alone through faith for Christ's sake. I'm Pastor George Borkart. This has been Article 6 of the Augsburg Confession. And this has also been another Higher Things video short.